let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Spider TV takes you to the first day of full pad workout at the University of Richmond. I'm with linebacker Patrick Welch. Patrick, what is different when the pads go on for real and the popping starts like they did today? Uh, well, I tell you what, things get a little bit more exciting, things get a little bit more intense, and I tell you what, people get a little more physical, and that's just the way it goes. When you get the pads on, it's football, it's hard to hold back. Isn't that what a football player wants, though? That's exactly what you want. I mean, those first couple days and helmets and just shoulder pads, I mean, that's fun to get the fundamentals and everything, but when you put those pads on, there's no feeling like it. How how different was it today for you guys as a defense? I think it was a little bit different. I mean, you have to adjust. You got to learn to play a little bit different when you put the pads on. And you got to learn to focus up a little bit more. You got to be assignment sound because things start to get a little bit more rough. You know, things people start to get pushed around, and it's just one of those things you have to learn to focus and, and make sure you keep your mind in the game when, when the physical aspect steps up. Another talented defensive coordinator to lead you, but it is another defensive coordinator to lead you. What will the fans see that's different? What will they see that has been similar in the great defenses in the past several years? Um, you know, it's hard to hard to release anything like that, but I. One thing I can tell you for sure is we're still going to have a really hard-working defense, a really fast defense, and we're not going to give up. I think that's one of the biggest things that's made us so good in the past is that we, we play hard on every snap and we run to the ball and we're never going to quit. And I think you'll see that, that type of mentality this year just like the past years. How much are you leading? I think you've done that the past couple of years, but now as truly a veteran, how much are you leading this defense? You know, I'd like to think I'm leading a pretty good amount. You know, with the graduation of Colin McGonaghy, uh, that's big shoes to fill, and they've, I've kind of taken over the role calling um, the aspect to, to call the plays out there on the field, and I think that's a big, big part in making the checks and making sure everyone's in the right place. And I just want to do my best job to make sure that we're in the right place to get the job done and make as many plays as possible. Defensive guys are asked this all the time. How's the offense look? I think they're looking really good. You know, I, we're, there's good battles out here, and, and obviously there's room for improvement in every aspect of the game, every position. But um, you know, we've come a long way from spring ball, and I think we're going to have a very good team opening day. Latrell, how different did it become today with the full pads popping? It was a little bit more competitive. I think uh, the defense came out and had a great day. Uh, obviously, you know, the defense is always ahead of the offense at this stage in the game. Uh, you know, not we're, we're more you know we're much improved on offense, but you know we've got a ways to go. How much do you have to remind yourself as having been an offensive coach that the defense is ahead of the offense on the third or fourth day of practice? Well, I mean, I put it in perspective. Uh, you know, I want the defense to, to play well because if you don't score points, you you can't win. Um, you know, I, I'm just in a situation where I want us to continue to improve on both phases, on both sides every day. Were there things you were specifically looking for today when the intensity picked up because the pads were on the first time? Well, I think just uh, mental, mental mistakes, you know, assignment errors. You know, I wanted to cut down on those, and I wanted to, to make sure that we were in position to tackle, that we were in position to make people miss on offense. And now we did get some of those things done today. How much of that was above your quota that you saw more than you would have liked to, or did you see less than maybe you were expecting of the, the mistakes and mental errors? We made, made a few more mistakes on offense than we had, uh, you know, through the first five days of camp. But, uh, you know, defensively, I think we were pretty sound and sharp. But, you know, those guys have got some uh, some holes to fill as well. How has the heat affected what you're trying to get done? Well, you know, the heat's not going to go anywhere. You know, so we're just going to continue to push through it and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, safety's a priority. Uh, Chris Jones and the staff have done a great job of making sure that, you know, we're putting the kids in healthy situations. But, uh, you know, we're going to go on as much as we can, you know, with uh, these kids' health in mind. How close are you to starting to make decisions on positions that you have to make, or is it still too early? You know, we're definitely going to get through the first scrimmage before we even think about doing anything. Uh, this is our first day in pads, and, you know, some, some guys are great in shorts, and, uh, you know, when you get the opportunity to put the pads on, some things change. So we'll scrimmage on Saturday, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll make one or two decisions after that. Maybe we won't make any, but, you know, we should know more uh, Saturday afternoon than we know right now.